Does the Secretary General feel disappointed that both President Zelensky and President Putin rejected a possible proposed ceasefire during Olympics? We, we, we want to see an end to this conflict in line with everything that we've always uh, said, General Assembly, territorial integrity, etc. Um, we very much hope that an end to this conflict can be, uh, can be found. And we've always uh, supported uh, an Olympic truce. And uh, one, one more question on the ICC um, application. Just now, President Biden said that the application was, is outrageous. I, I mean, a year ago, President Biden said ICC decision on Putin was justified and make a very strong point. Does the Secretary General believe it's a pure double standard and would that be the double standard from the most powerful country in the world would lead to the impu impunity that the Secretary General called many times? We are, uh, as I've said to you, I think a number of times, Deji, I'm not here to provide color commentary on what other people said. What I do believe is that uh, the principles of international uh, law and the Secretary General, I think, has been very clear on that. These principles of international law always need to be applied uh, equally across the board. Whether or not the U.S. had approved the deal that Hamas said it agreed to, there's a lot of reporting in the region that uh, CIA Director Burns was involved in that, had approved. That. Are you saying that, that is that not the case? What was Burns' involvement there? So I'm not going to speak to any of the reporting because I know there's been, I will just say, because there has been reporting all over the map on this question. Some of it right, some of it partially right, some of it completely wrong. I will say that the reporting that Hamas had accepted a proposal that we put on the table was not accurate. You said that uh, the ICC in this case, at least with Israel, didn't go to Israel to interview uh, people. They, they also didn't go to Gaza or to Doha, correct? I, I, they will have to speak to that. I just okay. don't know. And then they, and in another case, I know they didn't. Go, I know. I should say I know they don't, didn't go to Gaza. Whether they went to. Okay. Doha, no. And then another case, another ICC case that you have supported, or an actual arrest warrant that was issued, not just applied for, but was issued in terms of Russia, and Ukraine. Um, did the ICC prosecutors go to Russia to interview the? Uh, the people who were ultimately so, um, given uh, subject subjected to these arrest warrants. So the difference between Russia and Israel is that Israel is a democracy with accountability mechanisms and investigations that are underway. That is not the case in Russia. We are not aware of any Russian investigation into war crimes. <laughs>